just by thinking about his name, I'm only talking about the very first name, he has a few names. The very first name, Chaim, this was a person that brought life into our community. The Yehuda Chassid, there's a book of Yehuda Chassid called Sefer de Matriores. A book which was uh, released only a couple of years ago from a manuscript. And there he writes an interesting thing. If you look at the Torah, the very first word of the Torah, the first letter. Bereshit starts with a bit. The very last word of the Torah, Leinech of Yisrael, finishes with a lamed. The first word of the Navi, Vayihi Achremot, says that Yeshua starts with a vav. And the very last words of Tanakh is Vayaal. Finishes with a lamed. Bilu, bet lamed vav lamed. So he tells us that that's the gematria of the word Chayim. Otherwise known, it's known actually from other sources, a lulav, same word as a belud. A lulav has to be alive. A lulav yavesh, which is what we just made a siyun on the second sukkah, a lulav yavesh, tafum, is not kosher. So in the Babli, he made a siyun on the Babli. The Babli explains why is a dry lulav not kasher. Because it's not hadar, it's not beautiful. But the Rishalmi tells us no, because dry is not alive. And the Pasuk tells us, Lo hametim yahalalu. People that are not alive can't praise. In order to praise, in order to say halal, which is a lulav, as far halal, you need to be alive. We're, it's, it's actually quite ironic, we're sitting over here by Yom Yilula, for someone that was, his whole mahut was chayim, life. And even after he passed away from this world, when you see the vibrance of the Kehila that he set up over here, which has influence way beyond the four walls of this Beit and Beit HaMedrash and Kolel, is a place which is full of beaming with Chaim, with life. And he made us to you in the second Tukhan, the very last words, he finished over as Oler Rasha, the Oder Shcheno. The Shalach Kadosh tells us, Oler Rasha, Oder Shcheno, Rashi Tevot, Elul. Chodesh Tammuz is when we started to prepare for Elul. A lot of people, but the only way they can prepare for Chodesh Elul is by going to the country. Because that will inspire them and motivate them. So, yes, yeah, part of the Anilo Dodir Dodir Liho Ed Ashashanim. Amongst the roses. So in Sefi Yitzira it says, Melech Masader, it says in the Chasidut, in the month of Elul, so everybody goes to the Sadeh, but they leave the Melech over here. Um, in uh, Sefi Yitzira it says that the different organs of the body correspond to the different months. So it says that that um, Chodesh Tammuz is the right eye, Chodesh Av is the left eye. That's what it says in Sefi Yitzira. So somebody said that I know now why people go to the Catskills, to the mountains, Esa Inai, El Arim. Inai is Tammuz and Av, and then Tammuz and Av is just going to the Catskills. But there's a, there's a, a Hasidish of art of a, there was a tzaddik called Rabbi Moshe Eliakim from Kozhnitz. And he said that um, the Pasuk tells us Karati Brit Leinai Uma Et Bonen Al Betula. That Yod tells us that he made a, he made a covenant with his eyes not to look at things he's not supposed to look at. I'm not going to look at uh, girls, you're not supposed to look at that. So the Sadiq of Kajmit said, Einai, we said, Ayn, you mean Ayn, small as Tammuz and Av. Bitula, we know every month has a Mazal, and the Mazal of Chodesh Elul, Bitula. He said, Mad bonen al Bitula, why should I wait till Chodesh Elul? Karati, Brit, Leinai, already Tammuz and Av, I'm already starting to do what I'm supposed to be doing. Tamur like, Kisar, like it says already in Sarim, Av is Rashi Tevot Alul Ba, and Tamuz is Rashi Tevot, Zizim, Magdimin, Vosim, Tshuva, or Zman Tshuva, Mashmei Shuba. So, Oyle Rasha, Oyle Shcheno is Elul. We already made a siyum on Sechet Sukkah, we already started, up. why is Oyle Rasha, Oyle Shcheno Elul? It's not a very nice, uh, he asked the question, it's not a nice siyum, and it's also not a nice Rashi Tevot for a month. The deeper meaning of Oyle Rasha is, Oyle Rasha is to break the negativity. Rasha is Kochot Atumah. Each one in, in us inside has a Rasha and a Tzadik. 
Pasuk tells us, Harasha machtir et ha-tzadik. Sometimes what happens, the Yetzer Haral, the Nefesh of Amit, starts overpowering the Nefesh HaLokit. Shcheno, the neighbors, they're right near each other. Halal ha-yemani, halal ha-smani. Oye Rasha, we gotta break the Rasha, we gotta break the negativity. And that breaking will help the Oye, and this breaking, this Shcheno will help the Shachen. That will allow the Nefesh HaLokit to come out. It's not, it's not a negative thing, it's a positive thing. If we destroy, we get rid of all the negativity, that's the biggest positive thing you can have. This is a place which is flowing with positivity, with a positive, tremendous positive energy. Talking about the Caskills, there's a Gemara that tells us, which the Rebbe quoted many, many times about going to the country. The Gemara tells us that Rebbe Azar ben Arach came to a place, and he got carried away. It was a beautiful scenery, nice water, beautiful wells, excellent fruit, good wine. And he came there, and the Gemara tells us because he ate from Maya the Durmaskit and Hamda the Progaita, he ate, he had this good, delicious, nice, excellent, enjoyable, upscale Catskills restaurant. I know there's no good upscale restaurants over there, but it's separate issue. It's messed up. Anyhow, but uh, he wanted that, he had the best experience. So. The Gemara tells us, we don't prepare a vote, we're just learning in the summer. It says he was Mayanam with Gaber. He overpowers all, and if you have all the Talmudim, Rabbi Yochanan ben Zakai, and Rabbi Lazar ben Arach on the other side of the scale, Machriat Kulam. What happened? That was before he went to the country. After he went to the country, it's like Gemara, Gemara tells us, Kam Kara Bisifra. He opened a Sefer Torah to read. He, he was to read, he was the Balkriyan in the Betta Knesset. And it was Parashat HaChodesh, or Parashat Go, where we read HaChodesh Azal Achem. Instead of reading HaChodesh Azal Achem, he got mixed up, he could not read. He had to go back, Aleph Bet, Kita Aleph. And he said, instead of HaChodesh Azal Achem, he said, HaCheresh, mixed up the letters. HaCheresh, Hayal Achem, Hayal Libam. So HaChodesh became HaCheresh, Azal became Hayal, Lachem became Libam, he just couldn't read the words. No? And he had a katan, a little kid that speaks Satam Dina. He could read it. The joke, they say a joke that uh, David Levy, they say all kind of jokes about him. So they say David Levy came to America and said, Americans are so smart. The three-year-olds speak English. <laughs> so, uh, three-year-olds already know how to speak English and he's still struggling. Anyhow, that's what they say about it. So, a little kid knows how to read the Sefer Torah, to read the words, Acher Sheyal Lidam. So, there's a beautiful um, dart from Rav Sham Shumas Tratogia. Rav Akiva Eger brings this on the side of his Gemara, and he writes, this is Davar Nechmat. He doesn't say what the verse is, look there and say the Karnaim. And he says there that the letters that he mixed up were, HaChodesh, he mixed up the Talat for Resh, he mixed up the Zayn Razef for Yud, and he mixed up the Chaf of Lachem for Bet. Letters Riv. Riv means to fight. And he says there's a Malach which is in charge of forgetting. His name is Riv. He doesn't say this, but you can also say that the opposite of that is Rabbi. That overpowers the Riv. There's Riv of Kudusha and Klipa. And he says there's also a Malach associated with memory. That's Dazach. That's the letters of that he mixed up. He tells us that Mashiach will reinstate the power of memory. Now we have Shikha in Galut. Pamaim Riv, Bigamatria, Kadat. Kadat, Bigamatria, Mashiach ben David. So this is the power of, of uh, and he had the Koch of the Klipan to now overpower him, and if he started forgetting, that comes as a result of Riv of Machloket, of negativity. Which is the Malach associated with negat- the Arizal tells us, which is the Malach of Amunel Shikha? His name is Samach Mem. What's the Gematria of Samach Mem? 100. Arizal tells us he also has another name, Tuta. Pe, Vav, Pe, Pe. That's the Malach connected to forgetting. Also 100. What's connected with memory? Everybody knows. 101. Gematri Michael, Michael, which is the name of uh, the Niftar, who brought in Chaim and brought Michael, which is memory. 
the Kleyakar tells us, look at the word Shachach and the word Zachar. The word, what's the difference between Zachar and Shachach? 101. Because after you remember, now the Tumah is trying to fight, you go over another 101 times, become Shachach, right? That's 101 powers of Tumah. You have to fight with 101 powers of Kedushah. The Gemara tells us, Ne'ave Echad Pakashida. That the stream dollars, the demons, once you get to 101, the demons run away. There's a special power in 101 that can overpower all, all the Tumah. Some people actually do 102. Azalachem, Azalachem is the Gemara to 102. The Velez ben Yaakov, Mishnato, Kav Vinaki, Kav, 102. That's an extra 102. Not only that, that's 101. Because once 101 becomes known, you go to the next step. Comes 102. So, I, but I do want to finish off with one thing. We're talking about this tzaddik, the Rebbe of we here, and he brought to our place a hachodesh azelachem. He brought such a hitchashut. Moved away, bending associate with the Rebbe, with machlokus. Rabbi yet, but not Rebbe. He wanted everything should be done kadat. But I want to conclude with one, one in Raya, a beautiful word from the Rebbe's father. It's not in his, in his writings. Most of his writings got lost in exile. But someone's, and it's not his style. He used to, used to say Kabbalah, but this wasn't his style. But they say that once he said, that the, the reason why Rebbe Lazim and Arach said, Hacheresh, Hayal Libam, what weird words are those? Hacheresh, Hayal Libam. So he said, when you go to a person, you ask him to give me, you go and say, excuse me, can you help me out? We have a Bikness over here, we have a Kolel, we have so many beautiful events over here, can you help out? You go to the person to fundraise for a charity cause. There are three excuses that people give. First excuse is Hacheresh. I don't hear you. They don't pay attention. You know, this used to be a guy in 770. He used to always say, Hacheresh. And he used to say, I don't hear. So the guy would repeat it louder. He says, the first and the second, I also don't hear. Used to be his line. I don't hear you in the comments. Now he it's not even relevant for me. You don't even, you, don't, you ignore the guy. Then there's some people that are ready to respond. And they say, Hayah. Yeah, in the past, was Sadiqim, there were Mosdot, there was good things to It's all garbage, today is not a real thing. That's the excuse called Hayah. Then the third group, they say, Yeah, Ani Yudi Balev. Libam. In the heart. They don't give. I, I in my heart, I don't give. They have a we say, Hachodesh, it's new, Hazer, it's current, Lachem, it's relevant for all of us. This is a place of Hachodesh Hazal Lachem. This is a place which is a Ner Chayim Lechesu, which gives inspiration to our community, that this may be a schut for Aliyat HaNeshama, for Rabbi Chaim Echel Khalifa, and it should be a schut for being his schut, for all of us a schut, it should be Melitz Yosef, for all of us, and we look forward to seeing him. I didn't get to know him for that many years, we look forward to seeing Akitsu Rano Shokne Afar, Vuhu Betocham, Vuhu Rosham. We made a scene on the Sechet Sukkah. I feel here I'm surrounded in a Sukkah. In a beautiful, nice, cozy environment. Sukkah, that Izal tells us also, Big Matria, the name of Hashem. But not just Big Matria, the name of Hashem. Samach Hei is named Adnai. The letter Samach Hei. Chavav is the name you keep asking, Shem Avaya. You sit in the Sukkah, you're surrounded from all sides. This is Sukkah Merubah, like a Samak, not like a Chafoe. It's a Sukkah Merubah, it's a square Sukkah. It's all four walls surrounded with a Schach, with a holy Schach. It's maybe not, it's maybe not kosher for Schach, but it has that, the, in Sparim HaKadoshim, it says that Sukkah is a Kedushah of Eretz Yisrael. There's two, three places that you go with your mitzvahs that you do with your entire body. Mitzvah. But Mickey not wearing clothing. So your body goes in, but your shoes don't go in. There's two other mitzvot that you go in, even with your shoes. Eretz Yisrael and the Sukkah. This is the technique, this Eretz Yisrael and the Sukkah together. No, it will be fixed in Eretz Yisrael, and, I, and, and Rabbi Yaakov is doing a, a special work. He doesn't like when we mention his name, but we didn't ask him. And working very hard over here, and you should be Matzlich, and go Michael Ochoel, and uh, your father's Afkar Omen Meshamesh, and his foot will help us. Amen.
תודה כולו, תודה רבה מתוקים, שמורים הרגענו מורה דעתך, יביא ואני אומר איך תוסיף עד ביאת משיח ועד בכלל, אמן כן ירצון. אני מקבל בברכה את הרב משה יהושע זאב.